My son got drafted by the Texas Rangers in 1995, and that's when we actually started started out doing uh, baseball clinics with uh, kids in the U.S. and uh, ended up now mainly most of what we do is construction and you know sports ministry in Cuba and uh, Nicaragua, of course, here in the DR. We built uh, several uh, 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 feeding centers in Nicaragua with several, as a matter of fact, the guys from North Carolina has been over there and helped us do that. We got donations from businessmen and there's a couple of the businessmen that two of the biggest givers are here on the trip with us. We have uh, people working uh, out of uh, Kansas City, out of North Carolina, out of Florida, and Georgia. The driving is, is, is crazy. The houses are built real close to the road. There's uh, you know, potholes everywhere. And why are you glad you did this? Uh, just to serve God and honor God. Uh, that's, that's, that's what drives me and, and what makes me you know, do the things that I do. I, I want to serve the Father. They, they really deserve it. They, like you said again, they love the Lord. And, and it's, it's things like this that show them that God is taking care of them. As the children had come up to me, they didn't ask to be in these positions. They didn't ask the government to put them in these positions. But the book I read tells me these neighbors here are like my neighbors at home. They're just far away. That I'm going to reach out to them and touch them and show the agape and unconditional love that we, that we profess to be Christians should have and what we should have. What I'm saying is you give it yourself and you give it your all. The joy inside will come that will fill you up and replenish your body. You cannot live a perfect day without doing something for someone who cannot pay you back. This is what we're doing here today. My name is Antonio Salgado Jr. I'm here with uh, my wife and my, ch my three children. We've been here for approximately two years now, ministering to in four different towns. This is one of the towns we minister in. This is one of our church plans from our short-term mission team groups that have been coming to this country for about eight or ten years now. Uh, we have a, a core group of 30 or 40, but we have sometimes as many as 100 people show up. We're a, a Christian evangelical uh, Southern Baptist. It's uh, Primera Iglesia Bautista de Baruco, which means First Baptist Church of Baruco. Uh, me and my father-in-law, we work with Honor the Father Ministries, and um, we partner with Tony, uh, which is uh, the pastor here, and uh, just trying to help him be more equipped to do his ministry better. We've been doing ministry a long time and just kind of started doing missions on the side and ended up doing it full time. And uh, we're kind of a conduit for uh, groups in the states that uh, have money and resources to be able to help people over here. And we bring people and get projects done and helps people here and helps people there. Uh, this is our first project in Dominican, but we've done other countries, Peru, Venezuela, Mexico, uh, Honduras. Uh, we're just thankful for the opportunity to help them. I enjoyed all of it. I enjoyed the travel over. I enjoyed the times with the friends that I go to church with and, and hometown guys like Ted here. And I enjoy talking and just cutting up with the kids. The language barriers, you know, it's kind of hard, but, you know, they can still see the love that we have for them. Well, I like, I like to give back. I've been blessed all my life, um, especially in the last 10 years, and I just want to give something back. I've enjoyed about the trip. I mean, it's hard work. A lot of people ask me, you know, did you have fun? It's really not all about that. It's, so we had some fun, but it's about, you know, helping other people, and, um, you know, it's less fortunate. How do they feel about their new church? He wants to know how you feel with the new church here. Well, I feel good. I feel very, very pleased with this. First of all, thank God because if it wasn't for Him, we would not have, uh, we wouldn't have this church here. I also am very thankful for the missionaries, our brothers, our American brothers that came over here and did this for us. Is this kind of what they expected, or is it different from what they thought? Okay, they, they, they're all said again that they're very thankful for this. They knew that, that, that we would actually get this done. Uh, I think a, a bunch of them were surprised at how large it was. I don't think they, it would have been as large as it is. Do you have any hopes or plans for the future of this church? How do you feel it's going to be? Y si tienen planes o esperanzas. Estamos gracias a Dios y a nuestros hermanos que nos han visitado para lograr esta obra tan importante. We're very thankful again for this place and everyone that was involved in getting it here. We hope that with this new building here, we would, if we have 
20 today, we'd have 60 by next year, which we already have more than that. There's a core group of, of 30 or 40 people. She's just hoping that the, the church will grow now and they could be able to reach the community.